Minister, another issue that we've spoken about in the past is the abuse of the LMIA. Just how there is a review going on for the employment insurance system. Yeah. Is there also a review underway of yeah. the LMIA system? So, yes. And, um, you know, we're working on this one at the same time as we're figuring out the best way forward. Because, of course, as you say, we need to improve protections for foreign workers, holding employers to account in terms of abuse and fraud. But we also want to make it easier and less cumbersome for employers that are are, are good employers, and the vast majorities are. So mm-hmm. we have to, again, strike a, a, a balance. But Minister, at this point, have there been employers who have been flagged for, say, misuse of LMIA or employers who've had multiple LMIAs issued during the same year? Has there been some sort of an audit? Because some of the information that has reached us, that some of the employers who've been blatantly misusing the system keep getting newer LMIAs and they keep selling those uh, at a hefty price and they charge cash for it. So we know how this fraud is being perpetrated. But has there been uh, that that compliance and that audit where those employers have been held to account and frozen from getting new LMIAs issued to them? Yes. So absolutely is my short answer. But we now have the ability to data share with CRA. So we're now cross-referencing okay. people's payroll. And if you got 10 LMIAs, we want you to show us that you paid 10 people for the past six months instead of that you paid four people and sold the other six. So, yes, that work is really ongoing and it is it is yielding fruit. It's early because this ability hasn't been in place for long. But but absolutely, the message to employers is, is we now have a very clear way of tracking um, your LMIAs. And if you got 20, you better have used 20 or we will catch you. But a lot of those people, they have those employees on payroll. They pay them a paycheck. But then that person refunds the money in cash. Which is, again, that you're right. That particular circumstance wouldn't be caught by this data sharing piece, which is why we have investigators now who are going out and talking to workers. And, you know, to, to your point, it is known within the community what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so we actually have people on the ground, especially now that the COVID restrictions have been lifted and we can go do this, physically looking into the actual on the ground, you know, surprise inspections, surprise drop in at a farm. You're supposed to have 50 people working here. Where are mm. these 50 people? So that's happening a little slower because of COVID, but it is happening. Minister, during this pandemic, your ministry has been tasked with, I think, one of the most important and one of the most cumbersome responsibilities, and and you've carried it out really well. But I think if you can tackle this LMIA situation, this is something which a lot of people would be so grateful to you for. I agree. And you know what? Uh, all my colleagues, the MPs from Surrey, are really all over this as well. Um, we know it's a problem. We're working on it. And I can tell you, like the other systems we're tackling, we are going to get this right and people are going to get caught. It's not fair to workers and it's not fair to, to employers who are actually good employers. Mm-hmm. It's giving the entire program uh, a, a bad name.